All right, everyone. Welcome to another experiment. This is experiment number three. And today we're gonna to be working on weaving our glass. So if you've ever seen those projects, maybe at a fair or somewhere, super intricate, looking like the glass is actually woven. No, they don't do it while it's hot. They make them or shape them first and then interweave them. So what I've started doing here is cutting up strips that are half an inch uh, in length, or sorry, in width, and they're 24 inches long. So I'm gonna cut uh, red, oranges, and yellows today for my design, and then we're gonna take it over to the kiln and I'll show you how we're gonna shape these using stainless steel rod. So I got all my strips here. Now, let me just grab one of the All right, so I'm using stainless steel rod uh, that's three, three eighths of an inch, I believe. Something like that. Anyway, stainless steel. I previously coated it with boron. I do recommend you do that. For this second one, I'm actually gonna be taking strips of bullseye kiln paper, and I'm gonna be laying them over the top, just for extra security for, for, for this. It's, just a personal preference. I'll be able to just lay them on there. Um, so I'm gonna space these out. We're then going to let them shape over these rods. And from there, we'll be able to then start our weaving process. All right, so here we are at a, our kiln. I've laid down some bullseye thin fire and I've marked out every inch and a half on here because what I want to be able to do is lay out these guys as we can. So start on this one. laying out these pieces. All right, so we got it laid out. Let's give it a fire and see what we get. All right, everybody. So this is the next step in the comb, or sorry, in the, uh, in the weaving process. So I've shaped everything into these wave patterns because then when I lay these next to each other and offset them, I'll be able to weave through these other sections. So I have a bunch of those made up. And now I will be cutting all of the strips that are gonna go across the other way. So here we go.
Okay, so I've got a 24 by 24 inch kiln shelf with some bullseye thin fire paper on it. And I'm now going to lay out, ha ha, all of these. So we've done basically half of the weave. Now, in this case, the other side, I need a lot thinner pieces. So I'm gonna use a noodle to fill in those other gaps. All right, so I decided I brought spiraled cane to add to this project. And I also brought noodle to add to this project. Noodle's like fettuccine. If you're not familiar, and that's for the other part of the weave that I couldn't fit the bigger pieces through. So I'm hoping I will be able to at least get through.
So I'm going to stop there. Now I did add a few layers on top and underneath, again, just to give it that appearance. I think I need to shape them steeper and we'll see, maybe closer together. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this in the kiln and we'll go from there and see what the result is. Now, again, if you're looking for the kiln schedules, those will all be on our Patreon page, at home glass fusing, uh, com, and then you can head over to that page. It helps us create more videos for you, better videos, um, and eventually, you know, more giveaways and such. So thanks so much for tuning in and can't wait to see the result. everybody so here is our weaving and let's check it out let's see how it looks okay it's pretty cool all right everyone as i do more experiments i'm learning a whole lot um, especially that the after i should just talk about it and show you guys in person so here is our final project for the weaving that we did using a uh, three, three eighths inch rod uh, or quarter inch rod. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, came out all right. I'm not super happy with the results, but I did learn a lot. Um, I didn't have enough space between some of them to do anything more than a noodle or a cane instead of just an actual strip. I want to be able to put strips through every single one to really give it that weaving effect. Um, and with thicker glass in there, it'll have more texture to it. I also realized that if I space the pieces that I shape first out a little bit, there will be a little bit of gaps as there kind of are in here. And that will create, again, just a more woven kind of texture. Now, one last thing I'm going to do with this is shape it. Um, I'll post a picture uh, at some point or do a quick little video of just that part but I will try this again. And as always, I'll share the results. If you wanna see kind of how I fired it or be able to ask any uh, deep questions on this project as you're creating it at home, uh, you can join our Patreon page and subscribe. That really helps me create more videos um, and run my studio. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if there's any videos you would like to see and I'll post those as well.